Kenny here with Gardening Simplified. Today, here on the Povey farm, we're going to do some pineapples. Now, we don't raise pineapples, and I always mainly like to get organic produce, but sometimes it's not possible. But when pineapples go on sale at the store, and I would say 93 cents a pineapple is pretty cheap, uh, it's time to do pineapples. Now, we do it. Uh, they're not real large pineapples, but one pineapple fit per tray. Now what we're going to do is uh, put these in the freeze dryer and uh, make us a nice snack. So let's get these loaded in here. One ringy dingy. Two ringy dingy. I don't guess y'all know which show that was from. We'll get these loaded up. Doesn't take much. Just a matter of uh, letting it go down through its cool down cycle. Uh, once you cut them up, and don't want to get them too thick, they'll take longer. Now, I did extend the uh, time for, for uh, drying after it's finished so I've added some extra dry time to be sure that these get dried good inside but anyway we've got it loaded in there we've got the valve closed and we're going to continue and now we just wait all right we have the uh, pineapple freeze dried the thing I noticed about pineapple and it's one of the only things that we have freeze dried that actually shows shrinkage uh, whenever it's uh, been freeze dried but anyway we run this a little extra because we want to make sure it was all the moisture was out now we're just going to bag this up one thing and I had talked to, uh, earlier in the video about servicing the uh, vacuum pump but I want to go over this again uh, it isn't time for a service as far as the vacuum pump hadn't run that many uh, cycles as far as loads in the freeze dryer. But as you can see, and the camera kind of doesn't, doesn't show it as well as it does uh, for me, but the, the level of the fluid, when I look at it, it is uh, almost a quarter inch above the line. And the reason for this is is that um, pineapple is a really liquidy f uh, fruit. And being I, I had uh, run it as long of a cycle as I did to make sure it's completely dry, a lot of that liquid is in the uh, oil now or it's separated out. So what you'd want to do right now is go ahead and service your pump. Uh, you know, and, and as you, if you go back and look for the video on surfacing the pump, and hopefully I'll remember to, to put a link to it uh, whenever I post this video. But go ahead and service the pump so you can separate out that water and put in new oil into your uh, vacuum pump. That way you won't risk any kind of damage to it. But I hope, hope this video is helpful to you. Uh, if you want to see more, hit the subscribe the bell so you'll be notified give it a big thumbs up and share this video it really helps my channel happy gardening